My dad did a great job with me. I kind of set the foundation for me going forward as an athlete and just as a person. Boxing is very regimented and you know, it's a sport that takes a lot of focus. When I was actually in college playing baseball, you know, you think you go there and that's gonna be, you know, your foot in the door to a professional career. But like my life just went a complete opposite way. I was just always injured, bad luck, no matter what. So my brother was like, why don't you just go become a trainer? So I walked around the corner where we had a gym, asked them how I became become a trainer. They pointed me in that direction. And then kind of the rest has been history. And my brother was like, yeah, I was just joking with you. <laughs> my philosophy has always been dynamic movement, but there wasn't a lot of that being taught. So yeah, dynamic movement, rotational movement, but we still do a lot of heavy like compound movements. And then if you're thinking or like consider yourself a high level athlete, you should be doing at least two, three times a week sprinting. Sprinting is probably one of the best things you can probably do. Supplementation is definitely a big part of my life in the morning and after my workouts. Um, I try to get as much protein as possible. I get asked all the time, what do you take? What do you recommend? So to have now there and to be a, you know, almost as an assist, I can just refer what I take. I get the sense of fulfillment, you know, impacting everyone. And, you know, there's a lot of eyes on what we do. You're in this industry to make your people, your athletes, everyone better. I think it's it's a trust thing too. I think you take the fitness out of it and you know you get them to feel comfortable with you with the facility. I think the biggest weight in the room is the front door sometimes.